really done so much work on the uh, minecart tunnel, but it still looks pretty good what I have done on it, and I will be finishing it up soon. But as you can see, I have a raised mini map on here that's got waypoints, and it's really helpful. I love it. Um, so as you can see, like if you're ever lost, you know, you just find your waypoint, and there you go. It's a great tool. It's an easy add-on to add, and uh, August helped me with that big time. So definitely get it. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go check out the secret bat cave, and I'm going to show you certain parts of it here and there, and not going to really show you everything, but I've completed the entryway tunnel to it, and I've completed a new final storage room, and you know everything like that. So let's see, we're going to go to Batman's bat cave with the happy face, and then we will ride there, and then when we get there, I'm actually going to cut the video because uh, I don't really want to give away my secret entrance uh, to the Batcave because uh, me and August and TNG uh, pranked Rob and now he's on the hunt to prank us back and I'm doing everything I can to protect myself although I do already have a retaliation prank set up in mind <laughs> forward planning my friends, forward planning so anyways I will hop in here in the nether portal and then I will go to my secret bat layer and I'm gonna disable the map and all the way markers and everything like that because that would just be a stupid way for me to get caught and other than that I will see you guys in a couple seconds alright guys now we're down in our secret cave and I've basically had to disable uh, everything all the waypoint markers and the mini map to keep this cave a uh, secret and we'll just go through and you know show you everything that I've done so far so basically uh, this is my current storage room now I've had an ender chest which I'm not really using and uh, August showed me about picture frames and everything like that and you can move stuff around yay so let me get this back okay I think that's right yep all right and then I have like this little bitty farm here, which uh, actually today's project is going to be working on a major farm. But you may notice all these redstone lamps uh, here, here. Uh, if you go through here, there's another one here, things like that. The reason is is because uh, it's a security system. Um, so that way I can tell if I have intruders snooping around. Um, attempting to find the secret bat cave. Um, I'm not going to say how I have it set up or anything like that. I don't want to give it a, any of it away, but here's some of the redstone involved. And there are some note blocks uh, deep in the bat layer. Um, and I don't really want to give away like the path you know, to get there because it's kind of cool. Uh, there's a lot of redstone doors and then, you know what, I'll let me see. Let's see how careful I was with this. Looks like I was pretty careful. And then we have a combination lock here. And the sign reads, if you do not know the combination, you're not allowed to dig around it. And I have this here because this is uh, just where I was working on it. So we'll put that there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, show you the storage room that I've been working on and I'm pr either going to just start moving everything over to that or I will start working on a farm of some sort but I really don't want to give away the bat cave itself because it's supposed to be a surprise and um, hang on a second answering somebody on Skype hoping it gets another hundred bucks because basically um, I'm talking about my laptop that's for sale on eBay it's the auctions ending in just a couple of hours like three or four and so uh, what I want to happen is 
That's cool. It, it comes from each angle. Can't really, can't really see it, but, but it does. That's what it does. And this goes up and down, and then this one goes left and right. So, it's just supposed to be like this cool little effect of, you know, walking through all kinds of secret doors that really don't mean jack shit, but... You know, this is the one that really means something right here. This is the, the combination lock. And if you don't know what it is, and I'm not even going to tell you how many digits apply or anything like that at all, uh, because that's just not, you know, not fun. And I don't want to do that. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video and we'll, uh, I'll resume it when I'm in my uh, storage room. So we'll see you in just a couple seconds. Okay, guys, we're back. And here is my storage room. Um, oh yeah, that's right. August uh, found me a sword or made it for me. She put it right there. It was, uh, I think it was this one, in fact. Yeah, she named it Demox Sword. So that was very nice. Very nice of August, in fact. And Pumpkin Pie. And we have some obsidian. Yay. So, you know what? I'm going to use this chest. This will be my first one that I start with. Oops, crap, just tearing the shit out of things. So, as you can see, I love the way this the stone slabs look in this texture pack, but as you can see, here's another uh, security system thingamajig. But, you know, right here, uh, this is where I'm going to have a chest here, a chest here, and then we'll have in the picture what it's going to be. So there's actually room for uh, what I believe is 32 chests here. And I kind of like it, you know, this is, this will be a cool little storage room to start with. This is what I ended up using all the glowstone on. And I had to uh, actually buy more glowstone because, um, you know, I didn't have enough. And the only way I could get someone to sell me glowstone was like one per one diamond. So I had to buy seven glowstone for seven diamond. <clears throat> Because I went back to the nether, and I scoured around for like an hour or two, and I could find no glowstone. I mean, it's just been ravaged. So, you know, right now, glowstone is a higher commodity than diamond on this game. And that's just how it is when you have uh, a really uh, packed nether hub, and people are going to gather all the glowstone up. And I was actually really fortunate to find that one little patch that I did, and... You know, we all saw what I had to go through to get that, so, <laughs> whatever. So anyways, what I think I'm going to do is, I, I don't really want to move right now, because I, at first I, I just want to figure out, like, how I want these things placed. So what I'm going to do is figure out an area to start a farm, and I'm just going to have this one big, like, redstone farm area, and hopefully it'll be kind of hidden off camera. Uh, let's see. Uh, me and my brother are talking about Borderlands 2. We were playing Borderlands 2, and then uh, all of a sudden it quit working for me, and we got kind of deep into the game. And so basically, uh, when I get my new laptop, hopefully this Tuesday coming up, um, it will be you know it'll have it on there so also what I'm doing is uh, I've been recording like several episodes in advance at a time and I'm gonna try not to do that so much anymore uh, because it just really throws people's time frames off and I'm also gonna try to include a little more content in my videos and not so much of uh, just you know every single little step of the way like ooh, I'm gonna lay this set of bricks then I'm gonna lay this set of bricks you know no I went ahead and built the entire room and then uh, came in and showed it to you and so that's probably what I'm gonna do pretty much with the farm room I'm gonna show you uh, in fact I'll cut the video and figure out where it's gonna be and we'll resume it from there see you in a bit Bye. okay guys we're back and this little area here is gonna be where my farm's going to be. Again, I'm purposely avoiding showing uh, certain parts of the cave here. I really want to show it off bad, but you know, I really want it to be a surprise to some people because when I first started this server um, I guess some people were under the impression that I was going to build a bat cave where my town home was 
And then when that didn't happen, um, there was some serious disappointment going on. And I felt pretty bad about that. And ever since then, I just, it's been my personal goal that, you know, I'm going to build a really awesome bat cave. And I've got some great ideas, and I will be working on individual ideas in these videos and things like that. But as far as, um, whew, I got to figure out how far I want to go with this thing. It's going to need to be a pretty big room because I'm basically going to fit every farm I have in here. And I'm probably going to do it the same way I did um, in my solo LP that I had, which the world is now completely lost, by the way. Um, not sure what happened other than, um, you know, I was just having some trouble with Minecraft, did some, you know, hard star, uh, hard uh, resets on the computer, things like that, and then completely just lost my solo world. I still have no idea how that happened. Um, I didn't lose anything else. You know, I still had my multiplayer world, which, um, you know, technically I still have like 30 or 40 videos already rendered uh, for it because things, you know, it got really, you know, I don't want to say popular, I don't try to brag or anything, but it did get to the point where we were having 10, 12, 14 people on every single night without fail, and, you know, yes, we did have some griefers, but the problem with it is, uh, to stop griefing, I got Bucket installed, and then, you know, every time an update happens, you have to wait for them to update Bucket, and so then there was like this lag time on the server of at least a week or two of when people either they couldn't play or they had to use a, a Minecraft launcher and play in the older version until Bucket came around and then, you know, updated their shit. And it's it's just a pain in the ass. And I would much rather, you know, I love Bucket. I love World Edit. I love the ability to be able to tell, like, is somebody still something or not? And, you know, know me on a shadow of a doubt so that if you punish somebody, you're not left wondering, you know, what am I going to do? Did this really happen? Did this person really take this stuff? Or, you know, or what? You know, that just, in you know, my conscience like that, it, it gets to me. What is this? Huh. This is like a ravine of some sort. Oh, I, okay, I know where we are. There's diamond! Why did I not get that diamond? Did I not have a fortune pickaxe on me? I bet I didn't. Hmm. Let's see how much diamond is here. That's a pretty good surprise, right? That's pretty solid. Eat it, punk. That's right. I know exactly where we are. That's cool. Just randomly find diamond. How did I miss that? Maybe I saw it before and just didn't have my fortune pickaxe on me. And I was like, eh, I'll get it later. I might have accidentally mined one, it looks like. No? It could just be... I love digging out around diamond. It's fun. Okay, so it looks like it's a four-piecer. So, oops, so that'll be good. That was close. That could have been bad. Alright. So, anyways, as I was saying, I, I really do enjoy the ability to be able to, uh, you know, know who does what and punish them uh, accurately. You know, if that makes any sense. Um... Yep, this is going to cut right into the ravine. But well, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal at all. I don't really need it anymore. Um, you know, I, I wish I could just have a trusted server like this one, the Nebulous, where, you know, it was kind of like, you know, you have to kind of earn your way on here or, you know, there's there's some, there's some requirements. It's not just like, oh, hey, here you go. You're whitelisted on my server now, you know, without any type of research or, or recommendations or something like that and I guess that's just something you have to build to I, I guess it's just you know you have to start with a, a server where anybody can join and then you know you go from there 
but um yeah I think um see what I want what I really want is to have this all redstone made um you know have like a wheat farm tomato uh, potato carrot pumpkin watermelon and what I'm thinking is that since the pumpkin and watermelon don't have to be replanted I will have like an automated wall here where you just hit a switch and eventually they'll come pouring out but as far as wheat tomato uh, potatoes and carrots go um, I'll probably just use this area I don't really know how much room I have um, I could probably make it longer this way but not this way I can't go this way any further so what I'll do is um, when I get my new laptop I'm going to create another server and it'll be kinda like the starter server and then um, it'll be hosted 24 7 anybody can join anything like that and what I will probably do is have bucket and everything on that server and it'll be and kinda like a beginning an alright server if it goes down for a few days or a week so people can you know but we'll tell everyone to use a launcher right off the bat you know if it if it if you can't log on because of an update you know I'll have instructions for them so maybe that's the answer maybe we just need to better educate the uh, players you know to use a launcher if server goes down because I really like I said I love the ability to be able to tell if somebody griefed something or if somebody you know messed something up I want to be able to know that and you know I don't want to just be powerless you know I want people to feel comfortable you know when they play I, I want them to know that if their shit gets stolen or whatever then you know I'll replace it I'll fix it you know and it'll be accurate I, I don't want people to be able to lie either and say oh well I had a stack of diamonds stolen when maybe in reality it was only like 10 or 12 you know I couldn't be able to tell that just by somebody's word and chances are I probably wouldn't replace anything but with bucket you can tell you know who stole what when and where and then you know so I think that's the answer um, we'll just have like a little starter server and we will I think this is plenty wide right here so this will work yes yes it will I'm very very happy with this so far so we'll just have to figure out how far back we want to go with it because it's gonna have to be pretty far it's probably gonna have to be at least to here uh, we'll just set this as uh, kinda like a starting area but yeah that that's what we'll do we will um, Am I one too high? Yeah, I am, but that's fine. We'll we'll do that, and then uh, from there we'll create another server that so that people kind of like this one. I don't want to steal anyone's ideas, but you know, people who will who will be willing to advertise and you know post videos or do whatever. I don't know. I'll have to see. But this is a really good server, and I think Rob pays to have it hosted. And that's another idea that I could possibly do. Um, I commend him for that because that's that's definitely a serious uh, financial investment that he's putting into this thing. And you know, he's not really making any money off of it, but he is providing you know a ton of people with a lot of an entertainment. And you know, and I, I've said it before. I've you know I'm pretty much financially sound. I've you know don't want for anything I have you know I spend less than what I make and so I have an excess of funds you know thus I'm about to buy a brand new you know thirteen hundred dollar laptop coming up here and it's not even gonna put a dent in my savings at all and so you know maybe what I'll do is I'll volunteer to Rob and you know just to help out because I, I like you know he did a lot of work into this server and he's a really cool guy you know he can take jokes with the rest of them and he deals them back out that's for sure but you know I love this server and um, it's been good to me so far and so I might try to help and uh, pick up a month or two or something of the of the uh, fees but we'll see 
So anyways, I'll work on this guys and I will record uh, resume the video here in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back and I just realized that the Fraps is breaking the video back up into the 4 gigs again and I unclicked that last time but it's doing it again. It seems like it's just happening automatically every single time I open Fraps. It's automatically doing that. So I just wanted to apologize for this choppy video again which I was really trying to avoid but now I know for future videos that I'm just gonna have to unclick it every single time I start fraps I don't know why but hopefully this is an issue that will go away once I um have my new laptop so anyways guys uh, hope you enjoyed the updates and uh, I'll probably get a lot of this done off camera and make it look real nice and everything like that and we'll review it on the next video and we'll see you guys later. Swamp Donkey, out.